Hello and welcome to the Morales channel. This is using Filecoin for storage in Unity. The Morales Web3 Unity SDK's example project shows off how to use Filecoin with Unity and Morales. Morales provides the easiest way to add Web3 functionality to your tech stack. And Filecoin is an open source cloud storage marketplace protocol, and incentive layer. Let's get started. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Morales provides complete learning resources. The Examples Project is a suite of standalone Unity scenes, each that show off different Web3, Morales, and Unity functionality. To learn the basics of the Web3 Unity SDK and to see more about the Examples Project, click the link above. So a project idea that I had was to save and load images to some decentralized storage. I wanted to do that from within Unity to see the different ways that I could add that to gameplay. One of them would be to have the image associated with an in-game NFT stored in a decentralized manner. My idea here is to use Morales for authentication, to use Filecoin for that storage, and to use Unity as the game engine that brings it all together. Let's take a look at Filecoin used for data storage and retrieval. Morales is designed to be cross-chain and combined with other Web3 technologies. Filecoin is an open source solution for storage. It handles data storage and retrieval, it's decentralized and secure, and it's built on IPFS. To get started, check out filecoin.io. The Unity engine is great for creating games. Morales is cross-platform and can be combined with existing technologies, including Unity as a game SDK. So why use Unity? Well, it's an industry leader for creating real-time experiences. It handles 2D and 3D. It's centered around the Unity Editor tool and the C-sharp programming language. And it's a great fit for all sorts of projects, including games. To get started, check out unity.com. So I'm new to decentralized storage and I looked at what options I have for combining Filecoin with Unity. I wanna be able to store assets and fetch them. I'm particularly thinking of images here. And I thought being able to do that would give me new gameplay ideas. But how can I get started? I found Web3 Storage, which has several SDKs and an HTTP API. From that API, I can call everything I need from inside Unity. Live coding. Here we are in the browser. So that you can see me better during this section, I'm gonna lower the opacity a bit. So Filecoin is the decentralized networking solution for storage and retrieval of data online. I looked at different entry points to take advantage of Filecoin technology. I ended up liking Web3 Storage. It has an HTTP REST API that lets me do everything that I wanna do from inside Unity. I signed up, logged in, and created a token for free. With this token pasted into Unity, Unity knows how to speak to my particular instance of the backend for Web3 Storage. And from the accounts page here, I'm able to see every file that I've uploaded from Unity. This was really helpful during the debugging phase when I was making sure that I was able to upload what I wanted. Another workflow option is you can upload and delete the files here to get the data that you want stored, then use Unity to retrieve that data. And here's the Morales Web3 GitHub. This is the examples project that I'm showing off here. You can download this project and explore all different sorts of standalone scenes that talk about different Web3, Morales, and Unity concepts. There's one scene dedicated to what I'm showing here today, which is interacting with Filecoin and Web3 storage. Here we are inside Unity. The first thing I'll do is open up the README asset. The README asset is a great place to get started. Give some high level overview info about Morales and about this project, as well as instructions for getting started. Now I've completed all the steps there. And in step five, it invites you to open up one of the sample scenes. I'm gonna to go to a different one specific for what we wanna talk about here. I open up the scene example Filecoin storage, and I'll give it a play. As I run this scene, I'm already authenticated with Morales. If you're not, you'll see an authentication button. Then you'll see the UI that I have here. This scene will automatically take a local PNG file and upload it to Filecoin storage. Then it shows it here in the UI. The Filecoin test image that you see at the bottom there has been round tripped from local, online, downloaded online, and rendered in the UI. I can click clear image.
and that will clear out the image from the UI. And I can click Save Image, and that repeats the process of saving it. Again, it's taking a local PNG, uploading it to the storage, being able to pull it down from storage and render to the UI. This just shows the complete life cycle of that image to and from the blockchain. If you want to change which image is getting uploaded and used, you can change the Sprite to Save serialized field shown here. Now there's lots of different ways you could use this technology. This is just an example scene, but one very powerful application would be to use Morales to mint an NFT and have the image associated with that NFT be stored in Filecoin storage. The third UI option here is to open this image in the browser. That shows you where it's stored online, and I can also check my Web3 storage account and see the list of all files. Here we see the uploaded file sitting there. That's the complete Unity demo. Let's take a look at the code and see how it's set up. We have the Unity scene itself, the main c -sharp file for the scene. That's the code we'll take a look at. Here's the image that gets uploaded, and here's the Filecoin Web3 storage class that I created. Now all I'm doing here is wrapping some HTTP calls that we see in the documentation online. Feel free to download this, use it, expand what it can do, and integrate it into your project and to your entry in our hackathon. Here's the main c -sharp file for the class. It includes some links to popular documentation so you can check it out. Now when I click the UI button to do the save or to do the load, these methods are called. This one here, the upload and get file, does exactly that. It takes the file locally, uploads it, gets it from online, and then renders it out to complete that life cycle of the image. This setup instructions is a recap to what I showed before of getting yourself an account online, free and easy, and using the token here to replace the token value that I'm using. That way you can update the values on your end and see your own set of files. Here I create an instance of Filecoin Web3 storage and call to upload the file. I'm passing in the bytes, which I converted from the Unity image for use here in this method. After I upload the image, I get a content identifier, the CID. I can pass that into this method call and get the status of that upload. It will show me all sorts of information about where that sits and how the data is organized. For the sake of this demo, I don't really need that info, but it's just helpful to see that there's an API call that you can get if you want to dive in deeper with the data that's there. And then finally, I take that CID that I got from the upload and I paste it in here and get the file itself. This file comes to me in this specific case as bytes and I can take those bytes and render them into a PNG and show it on the screen. That's it, at the end of this method here, I return back some data in the way that the UI wants to see it. I have a custom data class and I populate it with the data that I think is interesting and helpful. The most important thing here is going to be the sprite that I create using that data. If you wanna dig in deeper to that shared helper class and see how I both convert the image to bytes and the bytes to image, Take a look at that class. Here, let's run the scene one more time. And we see again that Filecoin logo and image has been uploaded from Unity into storage and downloaded back and rendered to the screen, completing that life cycle. That's it for Unity and the code. The Morales and Filecoin Hackathon. Prize pool over 180,000 US dollars. This hackathon is the perfect way to get started with Web3. You can combine the technologies of Morales for auth, sending and fetching assets, interacting with the blockchain, and combine that with Filecoin for decentralized storage solutions. The top prize alone is $25,000, and there's plenty of other prizes as well. And with several different tracks to choose from, you can contribute ideas in areas that you care about. Register today at morales.io Filecoin Hackathon. To recap, I started with an idea of how I could combine Unity with decentralized storage. Using Filecoin and the Web3 storage solution, I was able to make that happen inside of our examples project. With the power of Morales and Filecoin together, what will you build next? Check out docs.morales.io to download and get started. Thanks.